What's up guys, Keith here, Two Guys How To. June's right there. And uh, today we're gonna show you how to change the key switch in a Volkswagen Bug. This particular one is one of the low riders that we're working on. And um, it's having a trouble starting. So we kind of got down into it to where we're not getting any connection from the battery once we traced it back to the back of the, of the starter motor. The key's turning over, but the vehicle itself is not starting. And this one is a 70, I think this is a 71, 72, uh, just standard Beetle, it's not a Super Beetle. So in order to do this, we're gonna show you quick and easy. And uh, it's hard to see on this low rider, but we've got the tires lined up. You want those things straight, straight as you can, because we're gonna be pulling the steering wheel off. So the wheels look pretty straight. That way when you pull the steering wheel off, uh, the steering wheel will go right back on, nice and, and centered and straight. You won't be fighting with it, thinking what degree or what angle it was in. So um, this one, this particular one has an aftermarket steering wheel. The horn's been gutted out of it. The horn is actually located under here. Um, so that's one step that we're not gonna show you how to do, but just make sure you take your horn out, get it out of there, disconnect the wires. And you've also got on this side, on the driver's side here, you've got two uh, lines that come off the bottom of your blinker, this turn signal assembly. You have two lines right here, they're hard to see, and the rubber hoses that go out to your actual washers out there up in the front uh, trunk. So this one actually has no wiper blades on it, of course, and the wiper, uh, the washer, <laughs> the washer squirters, the tubes are, are not even on it. So um, make sure first and foremost, before you pull, you know, you start messing with the key switch and you know you're gonna take the steering wheel off and you're gonna uh, take your little blinker housing or your turn signal assembly. This whole assembly comes out and we'll show you. And there's two little tubes right there where my fingers are and they both go up to that washer bottle. These are not hooked up so you wanna make sure you be gentle and disconnect those hoses. 50, 60 year old hoses, you might just wanna cut them, run new hose here to a little splicer, a vacuum line splicer. You can buy the, the kit up there at Advanced Auto or somewhere like that because chances are they're not gonna come off very easily and you don't wanna break that housing. So let's get started here. June's gonna take the steering wheel off. Now I'm gonna get around onto the passenger side. He's got a big old, what, 22 mil? 27. Or 27 millimeter? 27, yeah. And he's just gonna go right down in that, that center nut where that horn would be, the horn assembly would be. And it's the same, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Broke that free and we'll get that steering wheel off. And now that we know the front tires are straight, we Sometimes can go ahead. Sometimes you need a steering wheel puller. Yeah, so Sometimes you do need a steering wheel puller. On these old bugs, you don't. It just comes right off, and you can see the, the threaded um, shaft here, and it goes right into the threads inside that steering wheel there. So it's simple, and you want to make sure it's just lined back up the way that you took it out. Make sure it's not upside down, just the same exact way. Take some pictures if you have to. Now, since he's got that off there, we're going to go ahead and disconnect. Uh, there's wires underneath there. The turn signal wires, there's two two different wiring, uh, I guess, plugs. They, they, they form one, but they're actually split in the middle. So he unplugged those from back up in there. And then you got another one that goes to the key switch here. You just gen gently pull that out. And be real gentle. I mean, the cars are old. We don't need to tell you anything like that, but you know, it's old wiring, old stuff. So you've got a total of, of two wired harness, but it's split into three, one for your key switch. And this is your turn signal uh, assembly here. It's split into two, two sets there. And also would go up, I'm, I'm not sure if that would go up into the horn or what, but they bypassed this horn. So he's getting into the- Four little screws there. Yeah, he's getting into that turn signal assembly and the washer, the windshield wiper assembly. He's got four little screws that are flathead. So he's oh, using a real a little, small, little so teeny screwdriver. Three thirty second. 30 seconds or something that'll fit it. It's just a straight edge screwdriver. You can use a little bit bigger. And he's just taking them, loosening them up. He's not even taking them all the way out. And that should be it. And we know we got uh, 
Well, if you wanted to take this whole column off, there's an Allen key under there. Yeah. And this whole assembly will come out. We're not gonna mess with that today. So he's just gonna gently pry out that turn signal and washer assembly there. Just give it a wiggle. And let's show them here what we got. You can see just how fine these little little end pieces are where the wires go. I mean, they're, they're very brittle and you can see how it kind of moves. So you want to make sure none of these bend when you're disconnecting that double wire and harness here, the, the two into one. And here's your washer hose assembly here. This one has part of the hose still on it. And you can see it's just two of them, two little nipples there where your vacuum line is going to go and your washer line is going to go up on there. And it's about the size of a vacuum line. Like I said, if you need to cut it out here and then just replace you know, maybe a six or eight inch piece with a, a splicer vacuum line splice. So now he's got that out. We're gonna set that down on the ground. And we've got one other little piece here that needs to come off. Two screws here. You got two flathead screws. You can show them with the screwdriver right there, June. Right there, those are gonna come out. And those are gonna just take off that little flange housing that goes around the key switch there. Magnetic screwdrivers are the bomb. Yeah, we're using a magnetic screwdriver just to make sure it holds these things and it's easier to get it back together and just line it up. So basically he took that little housing off here that exposes the whole key switch down in there. Pretty much. It's very simple. And just take some pictures if you if you're you know if you need reference later. The key switch. We took the plug already. Yep. Just give and it he just a shook it and just took the Took it right out, boom. So what we're thinking on this particular key switch is this piece is its own entity. It comes out with this little teeny screw on the side and I can point to it. It's right in there, a little teeny set screw. So if you undo that, this bottom part will come out. And we're thinking that bottom part where the key, actually the head of the key goes in, is gonna be worn out and stripped. A lot of guys will pull them out of there and use a screwdriver to start them and hot wire the car that way. But we need to get down to the bottom of why it won't start. And that screw is, is dinky. Yeah. <laughs> you can see how small it is. Here's your problem. And let's show him, you show him, put that back in, let's let's show him taking it out. So we he undid the little teeny set screw that comes out of the side here. And he's just gonna gently pull that out. And you can see that set screw goes into this horseshoe here. Line it back up the way it goes in. Yep, pull it out. That little horseshoe, that little ring right there, when you put that set screw goes through in and screws and holds that part in down inside there. So um, once he pulled that out, you can see it's cracked, this whole mechanism. So the key goes in here actually and turns it right in that head there and it should spring back, but it's not springing back or getting contact because it's cracked, it's cracked up the whole way. And we can show you, here's a brand new one. This is actually from a 74 and a half to a 77 key switch. That's a little different, but you can see it's not, not cracked at all. There's no cracks in the housing. This one's different, it's got the different flange here and it's got this hoop right here. If you wanted to use it, you'd have to cut those off, burn them, kind of melt them and sand them off or just take this top part out. So I went ahead on eBay, I got this, it's got keys, it's a complete cylinder, um, everything's good. The bottom part's brand new, the guy said. It's got two brand new keys. So, and if we compare them side by side, they're identical. And even on this one, June was saying here, you can kind of see right in here, it looks a little bit worn. It's got a little bit of marks versus this one is nice and smooth. But they are identical. All these bugs are different with the head height here, the key, and the way that they line up inside and the way that little teeny set screw is right here on the sides of it. You can see this one here, and that's what holds that ignition little module in down there. So instead of just changing the module, which we were gonna do, we needed a whole new key cylinder anyway for another bug that has a cracked cylinder up the side here. So we're gonna go ahead and actually swap this one into the other bug, correct? Yep. And then we're gonna put this one in here. There's no cracks on it. The plastic piece inside there is, is nice and uh, not cracked up because we checked it and it should not. It should look nice and clean like this with the same um, part where the key goes into but just not being worn out. 
So let's go ahead and drop this in here and see if we can get this, this bug to start over or start turn over and start. So he's just gonna put that right back down in the same way. Pretty self-explanatory. Drop the key switch in, put the little flange housing around it that holds it with the two flathead screws. Like I said, he's using that magnetic screwdriver. It makes it a lot easier when you're lining up those, those screws down in there. It's hard to see, but when you lose one. <laughs> yeah, get one started. Once you get the one started, you can go back in and get the other one. Another trick. You can do this too. Oh, needle nose, yeah. He's got a pair of needle nose. He's gonna line it up down in that hole there and hold it at the same time. And he's just gonna snug those up. He's not gonna kill those, over tighten them, just snug them back up the way they were when he when he took it apart. Yeah, you don't need much. Yeah, you don't need much torque on them. So tighten those up. Go ahead and give that key a turnover once over, see if it, it feels good, feels nice and springy. Yep. Sweet. Okay. Pretty decent. Put this on. Yeah, so he's gonna insert back in that uh, the windshield washer and the turn signal assembly. And just be real gentle with it. I showed you before how, how gentle those little, the brass uh, wiring clips are where the wires are gonna, uh, the wiring harness is gonna clip back into. Just, just it should just go right in there. You finagle it a little bit, but you, if it's not going in right, don't force it in there. And it's got those four four flathead screws that he's gonna tighten up. Tightening three, these, the, this plastic, you, you don't wanna over tighten because that stuff will break. Yeah, the plastic's old, 50, 60 year old plastic. If you over tighten it, it just cracks up on you. So a little less is more. Just snug it down gently just to get this thing back together and get it fired up. And there we go. Yeah. Okay, he's got it tightened enough now. Like I said, don't. He's not going to over tighten them because June said they'll crack. They'll crack. That old plastic is just, really it's already cracked up. and. We've been in here two or three or four times, so. Somebody else has been in here four or five or six. Cut, they cut the horn wires off. Yeah, the horn wires have been cut off and someone's been in here way before us and probably manhandled it. We'll, we'll fix it right. Just uh, on this video, we just want to show you how to do the key. That's it, right? Just yeah, that's it out. pretty much. Just the steering wheel back on nice and straight. Make sure the steering wheel is on the right way, not upside down. This is an aftermarket steering wheel. Yours might look a little bit um, different, but it'll come off the same exact way. Good. Yep. And there's a plastic ring uh, on that shaft of that steering column that should be there. It's like a plastic kind of spacer washer, which normally they're cracked up. This one doesn't have it on there. It's fine. The car still operates and drives fine. We're not worried about it. And he's just gonna put the steering wheel back on and snug it down as well. See if we can get this thing at least to turn over. We know it needs a carb clean, but if we can get the motor to turn over, that means we fixed what we wanted to fix, and that was the key switch connection today. Hook all the wires up. Yep. Last but not least would be your windshield washer. Uh, hoses you would want to hook up and he's going to hook up the wiring harness now one for the turn signals and for the wiper and the horn want to be very gentle uh, pushing them in there. You don't want to force them in. You'll bend those little tines in there. 
couple connectors and uh, you'll be opening this thing back up. It's the last and final one, which is a little bit, you can see June is on his back down on this little teeny bug to get the waters back in there. hardest one is the ignition wire. Yeah. You got to spin it around and kind of push it up in there. To make sure you line it up with those uh, the four tines up in there, the connectors in there. Sometimes the light helps. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to see under here. Everything's black, dark, it's almost five o'clock. So he's got it pushed up on there. Good to go. Make sure the battery's connected, the battery's good. What we're just listening for, we don't, we know the car will start, the car needs a carb, carb cleaning, but uh, let's turn it over to see if we get some fire. Okay, and we know this car has had a hard time starting and running right, the car needs to be clean, I'm sure, um, but let's see if we've got ignition going back to the back there to get this motor to turn over and know that the spark is right. You want to go ahead and try it there, June? Ready to fire. Go ahead. Almost. It's running, running like poop, but uh, we're good. So mission accomplished. That's it. Fix that key switch yourself. Save that money. Get the vlog running. I'm Keith, that's June, two guys how to. Save that money, swap that key switch yourself, and uh, I'm on to work on something else before the sun goes down. Fix it yourself, save that money, do it. Two guys how to, we're out. I'm not a pig, I'm a lawyer. <laughs>